Hey, good morning. Back for another work week here, and uh, Emerson. Yes. Are you uh, are you handling things well with this heat? Um, I'm all right, but my voice is very scratchy today, <laughs> so I apologize for sounding a little bit older than I am. So yeah. Oh, she's telling us that she sounds a little older than she is. I sound like that that ninety year old smoker I one day. Oh, okay. So now what I want to talk about here is because this has been a big weekend this past weekend for people putting their air conditioning in. And uh, if you've ever had one of these issues where either you've got a big unit that goes into the window or some other kind of problem that you, you get with the air conditioning, my hat needs to be adjusted. Um, <laughs> oh, look at how me. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. My name I is like it. Goober or something here. Um <laughs> But anyway, I want to tell you about what happened to me one time yes. uh, in, in my old house. We had a central air conditioning unit that was up in the attic. Okay. And then there were a bunch of, you know, those PVC pipes, a plastic pipe, like drain pipes that ran throughout the top of the attic. Uh -huh. Well, over the winter, some of the liquid that was in there froze up and it cracked the pipe. Okay. And so we started the unit up without having all that checked out. And water was dripping out of the pipe, and it kept dripping and dripping and dripping. And then all of a sudden, the entire kitchen ceiling came down. Ooh, that all that so water at one time, you know, it started to buckle. We saw the sheetrock, and then all of a sudden, boom, it was a gigantic flood, and the entire kitchen ceiling had to be redone. Oh. Yeah. Putting in ACs is tough, though, I will say. And you have to do it just right, otherwise it can leak. Right. Well, I've, I've, I've talked to people that have tried to put in units and had them drop out of the window. <laughs> oh, man. So no. you got to be careful with that oh. stuff. So if you haven't put your air conditioning in yet or you haven't fired it up first time for the season, make sure you check everything out first. I was going to say proceed with caution. Yes, because uh, we're talking 95 degrees today. Tonight will be warm. Tomorrow is going to be a warm day. And then things will cool off for the rest of the week. Yeah, they'll be cool, but then eventually when August hits and, you know. Well, by the by time August comes around, I'm hoping you have your air conditioning issues straightened out. I would do too. All right. Now, tomorrow morning, we've got more tickets for you to go see Train out of Bethel Woods this weekend. Just choo listen choo. for the train pulling into the uh, station here. Choo choo. And uh, I, I'm just going to let you know that's going to happen in the 8 o'clock hour tomorrow morning. So have a great day. Stay cool, Emerson. I'm going to. And then we'll see you guys back here tomorrow morning. Bright and early.